COVID-19 is showing no signs of letting up in Arkansas as we see yet another record breaking day when it comes to the virus impact in our state. Let's start with a look at those numbers this evening. 10,974 new cases of the coronavirus reported by the Department of Health today. That's the most we've had by nearly 3,000. Of course, that number is driving active cases in the state as well, with more than 71,000 Arkansans fighting COVID right now. That's up nearly 6,400 from yesterday. Hospitalizations tonight sit at 1,185, up 37 from yesterday. Four more patients are on ventilators because of the virus, and that number is at 167. Unfortunately, 14 more people have died. A big topic as this virant, uh, excuse me, variant spreads, children. We know while they may be less sick, there are more kids at Arkansas Children's Hospital because there's such a high number of cases here in Central Arkansas. THV 11's Ian Russell sat down with pediatricians to learn how the variant could affect kids, especially unvaccinated ones. But I know we're all tired. As, as a parent, I'm tired. As a person, I'm tired. As a pediatrician, I'm tired. As Omicron continues to surge, pediatricians like Dr. Jessica Snowden are seeing the impacts firsthand. The reassuring thing that we are seeing so far is that in general, kids seem to be less sick than they were the Delta variant but there is still a lot of them just because there is so much COVID right now. After Governor Asa Hutchinson's press briefing Tuesday, we asked Dr. Jose Romero, Arkansas Secretary of Health, what he thought about where the state is when it comes to kids and vaccines. When we only have 10% of our population of children, five to 11, that have received the full vaccination, that is concerning. They are at risk uh, for potential complications of this virus. One of those complications is something called MISC, or multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. It's when different parts of the body could become inflamed in kids because of COVID. It is a decrease in individuals that, in children, adolescents that have received the vaccine. So again, it protects against those, those complications. Another topic brought up by Dr. Romero is the possibility of unvaccinated children getting diabetes after having COVID. I asked Dr. Snowden if she had heard the same. She said it wasn't a guarantee, but it's certainly possible. One of the things that we know happens with diabetes in kids is that frequently it is an infection that tips you over from you're somebody at risk of having diabetes to having diabetes. And so COVID may be one of those infections that has that ability. While that may be something that they're still figuring out, Dr. Snowden says there's one thing they know for sure. The best way to keep kids healthy and at school is to go back to the basics. So if you're wearing a mask and if you're vaccinated, you're less likely to have to leave school when COVID shows up in your classroom. So it, the best way for all of us as parents to keep our kids where they're developing best is by going ahead and doing those things. In Little Rock, Ian Russell, THV 11 News. Ian, thanks so much. Dr. Snowden says the silver lining to this is that kids who get the Omicron variant are less sick. Still, she says it's so important for parents to get their kids vaccinated to stop them from being sick at all.